I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you what's happening. What is happening? We have brand new boutiques in. Oh my gosh, I love boutiques. <laughs> Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. I am so excited today because we have brand new batik fabrics to show. Oh, I remember in the beginning when I was afraid of batiks. Now I am intimately involved with them. I love, 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 love. Batiks. They're just so, so gorgeous. Okay, so let's jump in to the first quilt. All right, let's go. And let them see all these gorgeous fabrics. So our very first quilt is Balance. And this is such a fun quilt because it has these little blocks that are offset. And then it has your background block. It is so simple to put together too. So let's put this on the table and check out these gorgeous fabrics in this pattern. That is so pretty, it's so, so rich. It really is. And these, these colors are just striking. And I know that whenever I was designing this for the book on the double, Quilts on the Double, um, I actually came up with this idea on my walk one morning. Oh, really? Because I was in San Antonio at the time, and I have a neighbor that would go in and stack all the rocks. You know how they do that? Oh, yeah, <laughs> kind of a zen thing. And for some reason, that made me think, oh, I could do a quilt like that. <laughs> and balance was born. All right. So this is so pretty. So we have these gorgeous batiks here. And our blue number one fabric, it goes in the middle of this block here and on the border. And then our number two, it looks like fireworks. <laughs> All I these love purples. The pop and the, the choices with the green. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. So that is this, it's actually a rectangular block here, and that's in between the balanced blocks, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. And then our number three is this gorgeous dark blue with the flower on it, and that's going to border our focus. And then, of course, on the borders out here. Love it. So, so much fun, so pretty. And this quilt kit is 8021662. It's called Crescendo, which is a perfect like name. It. The pattern is Balance from the book Quilts on the <laughs> Double. And the alternate pattern that we're recommending is Gallery. Now this one is Puzzle Me This. And Puzzle Me This was one of my early designs that has, it's just fun to do. Super simple block. You've got a, a stylized rail fence, and then you just have a bordered block here. So it goes together really fast, and let's put it up here and see it in new batik. Oh, it's so, so pretty. I know this is. It's such an unusual uh, combination. It reminds mm -hmm. me of the colors in the sunset when you get the reds oh. and the purpley red yes. colors with the golden yes. sun. So this is going to be wonderful. Striking. Now I put this one in the number one spot here. And it has the corner blocks on okay. there as well. Okay. And then the number two is your background fabric. So that's your lightest. And that will cause, all, see how it causes these two to pop it, off of the surface. It really so does. So they kind of recede where these kind of come forward. Oh. So you've got your golden color there uh, in the number two spot. And then the number three spot, look at this. Isn't that just oh, magnificent? That it's is just so yummy. pretty. And that's our number three, and our number three fabric is going to be in the border and also in the rail fence block. Now this one is called Sunrise <laughs> Vista. Sunrise Vista. <laughs> Suddenly I lost my ability to read upside down. It's a skill. <laughs> Sunrise Vista, uh, 8022123. Puzzle Me This is your pattern, and it's in the Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilt Book. Ah, oh, so fun. Well, our next pattern here is called Harmony. And this one is really great because I like it because once again, it's one of these patterns that has like a double focus and I think that's kind of fun. And then it makes this great snowball that is kind of sashed by the alternate block. It's not technically sashed, but it kind of looks like that. So let's stick that on the table and check out this gorgeous batik fabric. Oh, and looky here, we have pieces and parts. Awesome. I love it when we have pieces and parts. So this is our... Um, Harmony, once again, thank you for reminding me. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we have a snowball block and then just a very simple block as an alternate. So I'm gonna show you those. We'll put this together. So this fabric is so, so pretty. Here is our snowball all put together. 
And these snowballs are really simple to make the way that our instructions go together. So we're just using like a square, <coughs> we draw a line, sew on the side of the line and then cut them off and then you press them and it's beautiful. And then here is our alternate block here. And you can see that it's kind of like a self sashing on that. I think a little mm -hmm. bit, it kind of creates that separation, which is awesome. So, and you know, this is a cool quilt because there's really not that many seams to match. Mm -hmm. So it makes it very simple. And these colors are just Do You know what's amazing. really neat too about that one block? A lot of times we do mm -hmm. the strip piecing and cut a unit. In this case, we do the strip piecing and then you cut a block and oh, there's no more sewing going on after so that. So fast, so, yeah. so fast. So this is just striking. It so is. let's look at this fabric for this one. So here is our focus here. Our number one is gonna go in the snowball here. So it's really gonna be highlighted. Then our number two will be the corners of the snowball, mm -hmm. the sides of this block, and then we have a small border that runs all the way around here. And then our number three, <laughs> gorgeous, oh my goodness, will be in this nice big block here and then our border and binding here. And gorgeous. these look so, so good together. And this kit, the number here is 8022004. It is called Winter Woods. It's our harmony pattern from Easy Does It. And the alternate is Dash. Very nice. It'd look good in Dash also. It really would. All right, this one's called Pinwheel Party. And Pinwheel Party was designed so that you have a pinwheel in the center of this block and then you have a solid block in the middle of this border. So that is just a fun pattern to put together. Has a lot of movement going on, and we have a lot of beautiful fabric Ooh. going on here. This is really yummy. It would be great for, uh, even for a little girl. Oh, yes. For a little girl's bedroom, or if you're a little more edgy and kind of into that um, <laughs> bohemian thing that's going on right now, Where this would be great. Yeah, they're using that. lots of pink and decor. Absolutely. Yes. So this is your number one fabric, and I do this frequently. I'll put it in the quilt, but then I like my number one fabric to be out on the border as oh, well. Oh, yes. So it just gives, really shows off a lot of that focus fabric. And then your Beautiful. number two fabric is going to be compared with these two. You take your lightest, and it goes around this pinwheel. And the pinwheel is made up with fabrics two and fabric three, which will be here. It's going to have a lot of contrast, and it's going to be adorable. That is great. Is great? It is just fabulous. And then fabulous. it also is um, used to border. Your number three is oh, also Oh, that's going to, to pop. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be a smashing quilt. It Absolutely. Really will. This one is called Fireworks, and it's 8022122. Pinwheel Party is the uh, pattern we used from the book Quick as a Wink. It's only available in the book, so our alternate pattern that we're recommending would be uh, the Puzzle Me This. Oh, very nice. And we show, showed that quilt a little earlier. earlier. Absolutely. So our next quilt is Snowball. And this is fun too, because once again, it's a great quilt that you could use a double focus, which I really like, because sometimes your fabrics just go so well together and you wanna show them both. And then you put them together and it creates this cool little diamond here. So let's put that up on the table and look at these beautiful batiks. You know, and I just have to say, is it just me or the batiks just getting more and more beautiful as we go? <laughs> I think they're really perfecting the, the process. Uh -huh. And you know, the process of doing the batiks is they start off with, with just the grayage, what they call the background fabric, mm -hmm. and um, they stamp like wax designs on okay. the fabric. They dye it and then they wash it out all so the wax all with the real wax. hot water. And then they'll sometimes stamp it again and dye it again. Oh. And so they can do that multiple times to get multiple colors. So it is one of the reasons why batiks are, tend to be just a little bit more expensive because they're hand done and the process, no two pieces of fabric look alike. That's and true. sometimes the imperfection, people say imperfection, it's not done with a machine, so it's gonna have that little uh, human touch to it. So something might shift slightly or you might have a little overlapping of color in one area that you don't get in the other. 
So it creates like a one-of-a-kind piece of art wow. with your quilt. Wow. So in a way, they're kind of hand-done. Oh, they so are hand-done. It's, it's a custom fabric. Mm -hmm. So that is just amazing. And this is just gorgeous. These are my colors. Yeah. <laughs> this is so pretty. Gorgeous. So our number one here, this beautiful blues and purples, is going to go in our focus here. And this is going to be so pretty. And then our number two, which is, of course, the lightest of your two and three, <coughs> will go in the alternate snowball block here. And then our number three will be the diamond and then the two borders here. And I just think this is going to help everything pop so well. And that little diamond that is created from your snowball is just going to jump out. Mm -hmm. I just love these colors. <coughs> so the I do too. kit name of this is Modern Daydream. And the number is 8022121. And it is the snowball pattern, which is available as an individual pattern. Now, are you ready to have some fun? Let's have fun. All right, so I want to tell you about this. Now, this is not batik, and we don't have this fabric anymore, but wait till you see what we have with this fabric. It is just flat out fun. So you've got your wide strip here, and then you make four patch here, and then you just alternate those four patches to get the second row. You cut one strip, and voila, the first row is finished. So let's put that up here, and then look at this fabric. It's going to be, I mean, it's just going to be amazing. And if you like, to have that little magic touch to, you know, being surprised, mm -hmm. sort of like a mystery quilt. <laughs> we have this great new fabric. Look at these uh, cactus. They're gorgeous. But here's what the surprise is. This is an ombre. Ah, Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. I know the first time we got ombre in to the office uh -huh. and um, we matched up and we didn't open it up. In fact, somehow or another, we didn't know we had an ombre. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we took it in there to be cut, the, <laughs> the person cutting the fabric came in and said, I think there's something wrong with this fabric. Oh, But we, then I laughed and it assured them, no, it wasn't. It was an ombre, and I had not pointed that out. So this is going to be great because you'll cut your strips, and every strip is going to be like a different color. Oh, So this wow. quilt is going to have rows, and it'll make it look like you used I love that. multiple fabrics. Okay, so this is our number one fabric, and it will be in the big strip and give you all that color variation. And then we're going to take these two, uh, the number two and the three, and we're going to make a four patch. And look how gorgeous that is with this. Let me do this little number so that you can see. I love it. How that's going to go together. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. Happy, happy, happy. Have yes. All right, now here's your Desert Sunset, 8022120. Checkmate is your pattern, and Quilts for Kids is the um, book that that pattern is in. That is great, that is fabulous. So next is one of my favorite quilts. It is called Corner Play. And this is such a fun pattern because you basically are making the same block over and over and we just rotate the blocks and it creates this whole new design that's really kind of looks complicated, but it's not. And I have some pieces and parts for you. So let's check that out. Our corner play quilt is from the book, Pretty Darn Quick Three Yard Quilts. And we're just gonna take a peek at the pattern here. And we start with a strip assembly and I have our pieces and parts, so I'm gonna start building them on this piece of paper and then we're gonna transfer them to the quilt. So the first thing we have here is a unit cut from our strip assembly. So this will be the first thing you do and I've rotated it from this actual diagram here. Then we're just gonna build from there. So the next piece that we put on, be a number three fabric and we're just gonna sew it together just like that. And then we're gonna continue building. We're just gonna make it bigger and bigger. We're gonna put our focus on the side again. And then we put another strip of focus on the top. And this builds our block. Now we're gonna make these, but then we're gonna also make the block exactly the same. And we're gonna shuffle our fabrics just a little bit to make it look a little different. So let's transfer this one to the quilt. And then I have some finished blocks to show you. So this one will be just like this. 
Now this still has the seam allowance on it, so it's gonna look a little bit larger than what's here. But of course, once it's sewn together, it will be the same size. So that will go there. And then here is a block that is finished and it's gonna go opposite. And then as I mentioned just a minute ago, how we've just kind of same block, but shuffled our fabric placement just a little bit. And then that will go on this corner. And then another one on this corner. Oh, Love I'm it. loving this. Do we have our cropping tools so sure. that we can block out the background and really see just how fantastic this is gonna look? So as you can see, oh, it's so pretty. Just love it. I just think that these blues and these yellows mm -hmm. and golds are just summery and bright and cheerful. It's so pretty. I love it. And I love corner play. It's just one of my favorite patterns. It is. It really is. And it's so simple to put together, but it looks very tricky and it's not. So, which is so cool. All right. Let's talk about this fabric and give you some ordering numbers. I will move this over. All righty. So, as we mentioned before, here is our fabric number one. It's gonna go here, our fabric number two, these yummy buttery sunflowers. That number two fabric will go in these, and then our number three fabric here and on the border. And this kit is 8022119. It's called Summer Waltz, which that's a great name. It is a great name. It is corner play from the Pretty Darn Quick book, and it is also available as an individual. Great. All right, well, the next one we have coming up is called Diamond Dust. And Diamond Dust is, it's fun, but it's made with half rectangles, not half squares. And I remember my very first time that I tried to make a half rectangle, I just designed the pattern, didn't think about it having an unusual way to make it. But we tell you exactly how to do that in our book. And we've also done videos on that. So let's put that one up. And this is fun. Isn't this pretty? Yes. This is gonna be great. So as we've always talked about, the second fabric is your lightest fabric. And it will, look how it just really makes the design of the quilt pop here. Mm -hmm. And then I alternate it by using the dark behind one with the light in the middle. So mm -hmm. that contrast is very important in this particular quilt. Absolutely. So our number one fabric is going to be the dragonfly. It's going to go right here. And then the number two fabric being the lightest fabric. And look, it almost looks like a shadow of this fabric. Look yeah. how that just, just kind of... But it looks tone. like the sunshine Oh yeah, with the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have a shadow without a sunshine. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is your number two, and it's going to go here and here. And then our number three fabric oh, is going so to be pretty. your darkest colors here. Now, what I would really like to do is have the cropping tool and show oh, them yes. the actual aspects of this particular block because we have a great big block here. Mm -hmm. See that nice big block? But then there are four components to this block. So you're going to be making half rectangles. Cool. There's one. And you actually make two different ones so that you, corner, you sew from corner to corner from the right-hand corner uh -huh. down to the left, and then from the left-hand on the second block, the left-hand side to the... Okay. And that makes that mirror image, and you have to make the mirror image to do this. And then this one is the mirror image. Okay, yeah. And so you've just got the same four blocks that you're putting together on That's that. That's great, that makes it simple. All right, so this one is uh, Dragonfly Dance 8022-118. And the pattern is Diamond Dust. It's available as an individual or in the book, Modern Views. So just love this. And I don't know about you, but I am totally inspired to go make some petite quilts. Absolutely. Or maybe buy some more fabric for our future show. <laughs> <laughs> I am just in love with all of these gorgeous petites. Yes, and there's absolutely. so many great patterns. So, all right. And... If you need patterns for your batiks, <laughs> we have a great book bundle for you. We have nine different books in our book bundle. It's a very special price, so be sure and go check out that on our website at fabriccafe.com. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Ring the little bell for notification every time a new video comes out. 
And be sure and comment and share with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.